gravity roller put on this blade written there so if you'd like to pause you can see but we're walk, rocking a dual convex ground compound grind on this knife We've got a pretty thin 13 degrees per side here and a little chunkier 18 degrees up top per side for those chopping tasks in this area and the finer work which I'll show here uh, for that kind of stuff so feathering notching whatever your bushcraft essentials are Oh man, down to the choil, dude. That's nice. And I'm really not working on the best part of wood of the wood. And it's still not giving me too many problems. Yeah, they're not sticking. I'm getting a little sloppy towards the end, but probably not doing the knife justice, but this is They're super, seven inches long. Super <laughs> easy, dude. They're super long feathers. <clears throat> Just more Not give a give a grab on the outcast too. Back to back on the same piece of wood. Same wood. <coughs> older iteration of the knife. I looks like he's got a three-step compound grind going on this knife. We have 10 near the choil finger guard here, 15 in the middle section, and 20 from about half all the way to the tip for those chopping tasks, if I'm correct. Yep. You got it, man. Nice big blank spot here for your finger. And we'll use the same stick that we were using for the out or the uh, camp ten, and do a little feather in here. There we go, set it right there. Oh, <clears throat> it wants to get thin. It's more user <coughs> error. The last uh, two inches right in front of the finger choil is, I think, ten degrees per side. You can tell, look at that, with a knife from this stock. <laughs> yeah. It's just glancing over it. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but that is stupid thin. I mean, almost a non-existent curl. More fiber than wood. In the hand, you can definitely tell that the uh, this outcast is <laughs> a little thinner towards the hilt here. So the question is, we, we just need to decide which one we like better for the profile. We need to first see if either of the blades are going to roll. Right now we see no rolling uh, with anything that we've done getting up to this point. But um, the exception would be cutting some nails in the pallets. I had some pallet wood and was doing some chopping tests, if you might remember in some of the earlier videos, and uh, cut right through some nails, basically kind of in this area of the blade, right in the chopping area on both of them, they sustained a small amount of damage, a little bit of chipping, and uh, we covered that in the reprofiling last time, uh, previous video if you want to check that out.